Okay, guys, it's me, it's Dr. Sean, and I'm, I'm going through a different system here. I've got some different lights set up, and i got some stuff so I can actually draw on the screen, which I'll get to in a little bit, but right now I want to show you a couple little tricks. We're in, actually, all through this. This We've logged into Canvas, and we're going to go down here. You can see my mouse. I'm really hoping you can see the mouse. Uh, but I'm going to go down to Modules. That's like, like where you see, like over here, you see there's one, two, three, four, five. There's Modules. We want to get into that one real quick. And we're going to look through, and I'm only going to do like five minutes on this because I want to go through the modules. We're going to scroll down to week two. That's where we're going to be starting right now. Week two, and we're going to go to the overview. Okay? Big overview. This is musculoskeletal and uh, musculoskeletal systems. And integumentary. So integumentary, I did an entire thing on the different layers of the skin and stuff like that. I might redo a picture. There is a drawing required in one of the labs, I think. And so that would be a really good thing to just jump in and... And get done because um, those things can really mess you up. Now remember, it's just a drawing of a basic. Uh, just look for my book real quick. It's a it's a drawing of the basic the section of skin. So I think it has like uh, the epithelium on the top, right, or the the uh, epidermis, and then the dermis, and then subcutaneous or subdermis or hypodermic, whichever one you want to call it, and different sections and a few of the little things that are in there, like the hair follicles, the sebaceous glands, etc. Now let's go through this. We have do, we can see that there's ongoing um, reading and we have, oops, let's go here. Oh, come on. My, my mouse won't do what it wants to do. There we go. Next uh, reading, there's a lab spare tire. Now spare tire, we're not talking about the spare tire that's around your belly when you eat too much and drink too much beer and things like that. That's not the spare tire they're talking about. It's got a T-I-R-E is an acronym for some other conditions. And so go ahead and look at that stuff and figure that one out. Now, so chapter seven, eight, and nine, skeletal and muscular. I do a lot of videos on this one. Go check the other videos. I'll try to post them somewhere up here. But you can find those on my anatomy class with Dr. Sean, okay? And uh, let's go through here real quick, chapter six, seven, and eight. Remember, in the chapters, or six, 16, and 17, in the chapters, don't do the um, in-chapter work study stuff so that's going to be like the questions the quizzes and things like that i just want you guys to do the quizzes on here because that's where you're going to get the main points okay now if you want to because you're feeling like hey let me understand this a little better let me know we can go from there um the textbook from there we don't care about but if you're having problems with the textbook this is another place to get it right here so load hp textbook table of contents in a new window it'll do that for you if you're having problems you got to go over to the vital source book short shelf over here and set that up. A couple of you did have problems with that, but uh, I think that's all worked itself out by now. <clears throat> um, we just want to do like two more minutes on this, okay? So interactive lecture, this is the one. So you can go through the temperature and body temperature PowerPoint, um, zip through there, you're going to get some information on that. You can take some notes. I've done that already in another um, set. Uh, you can watch those on the channel in the playlist. Uh, or on the Natural Body Works, you can see those as well, because I did that one too. PowerPoint for skeletal, PowerPoint for muscular system. We've done those as well. I'll do some more on that too. So discussion, survival. Remember, guys, respond to two other people. This is a different one. This is week two. So this isn't just opinion. It's like, hey, nice to meet you, all that kind of stuff. This one we want to do a little bit more. Consider the primary functions of the muscular system and how these functions are critical to survival. Explain your answer. So explain your answer. Get into it. Give me an example. Okay. So like one thing is uh, muscles allow you to move and that allows you to get away from a predator. Okay. So the muscles uh, actually help you run away or the, uh, the muscles actually help you stay warm in cold weather or the muscles help support if you're being attacked. Um, they do uh, offer some cushioning or something like that. I mean, you can think of something. There's not a lot of answers on those, but um, expand on it the best you can. And don't forget to respond to two other people, okay? Let's do one more minute on this one here. Da, 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 da. Lab, spare, tire, let's look at. So as you see here, do Sunday night, learn, access. Oh gosh, these ones are terrible. I don't like these ones. There's the rubric down on the bottom. You can see that. It tells you what we're looking for. Um, but select the link to complete week two. That's right. It's right there. Okay, down at the bottom. Okay. Week two lab, this is what we're gonna go over right now. Week two lab, here it is. It's gonna load for you and it's gonna say, and I, wow, you cannot read that at all. Okay, let's see. Remember, abdominal muscles explain what tire, uh, let me actually move it around a little bit. There we go. 
Okay. <laughs> Explain what tire stands for, the phrase spare tire. Uh, answer questions below. Describe the movement of the head in response to contraction of the right sternocleidomastoid. The right side, sternocleidomastoid, that's this one, it goes from the sternum, which is here, the clido, the clavicle, to the mastoid, which is here. This is the, the origin and insertion, and it, it pulls down and towards the opposite side. That's what it really wants to get at. So let's see, does it have any other questions here? It doesn't even have any other questions there, right? Okay. List the muscles of respiration. There's primary muscles of respiration and there's secondary muscles of respiration are called accessory muscles. Look up accessory muscles. They are run by the accessory nerve. We'll get into that later. But those are all these guys up here. Okay, deep inside here. There's some upper chest muscles and things like that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Added strength. The arrangement of the abdominal muscles conveys added strength to the abdominal wall. So there's three layers. There's the transversarii, okay, abdom transversarius, abdominis, and then there's obliques. There's external and internal obliques, and there's a rectus. Rectus means standing straight, like erect, okay, standing erect. Uh, so those are the ones that go straight down the belly, and then you have the external obliques, like you put your hands in your pocket, and the internal obliques, like you're reaching up this way, and then the transverse obliques this way, and those are different layers to help with different forces, okay? So here we are, there's six, oh gosh, we went too far, like six minutes, my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Hope you guys are doing well, I'll do another video in a couple minutes, bye.